A lark and her young ones had made their home in a cornfield. The corn was almost ripe and would soon be ready for harvesting. But the lark was afraid that the reapers would come before her young ones were ready to fly. So, every day before she left to look for food, she would warn her baby chicks. Be alert. Listen carefully and report to me all sounds and voices that you hear in my absence. One day, when she was gone, the baby larks heard the master of the field say to his son, The corn is almost ripe. Go and tell all our neighbors and friends to arrive here early tomorrow to help us reap the corn. When the lark came home, the young ones told her what they had heard. Please let's leave from here as quickly as possible, they said. Mother Lark, however, calmed them down and said, Don't worry. If the farmer is depending on his neighbors and friends, the corn will not be reaped tomorrow. The next day, the Lark left to look for food with the same instructions to her babies. At the same time, the farmer and his sons waited in the field, but no one came to help them. The farmer told his son, Our neighbors and friends are not to be depended on. Go and tell all our relatives to be here at the crack of dawn tomorrow so that we can begin harvesting. At the end of the day, the frightened baby larks once again gathered around their mother. They told them what they had heard. Yet again, the mother lark told them not to worry. If they are depending on their relatives, the corn will not be harvested tomorrow. The next day, the farmer waited, but nobody turned up. The sun grew hot, and the disappointed man told his son, Listen to me, young man. Get some sickles tomorrow, and we shall start the reaping ourselves. Their babies also reported this conversation to their mother. This time the mother lark said, Now my dears, it is time for us to go. Only when a man decides to do his own work will he never be disappointed. God only helps those who help themselves. The lark and her young ones flew away, and sure enough, the corn in the field was harvested the next day. <laughs>